Welcome to the second part of this video, um, a question asked on my Facebook explaining maps.com by one of you to help with this past paper question. Yeah, so cre uh, credit goes to Cambridge Examinations, this is their question, not mine. Um, and you can also ask me your questions if you have any, uh, either on my Facebook or on my website explaining maps.com. On the or in the first part, uh, we constructed uh, the histogram. Yeah, so make sure you have seen that because a histogram with frequency density is not difficult uh, to create, but there are a few things you need to take into account. We are now going to continue with the question and answer questions B, C, D, and E, which involve um, yeah some uh, statistics and probability. First of all, write down the modal class of the distribution. Yeah, so we're still looking at this frequency table which show the speeds of 50 cars. And the modal class uh, means, when we're talking about classes, they use the word modal class, which is the mode, if you like, uh, the most popular class. That's what I say in class, um, in, uh, in my class to my students, what is the most popular class, what is the mode? which class has the highest frequency, okay? So which class has the highest frequency? So that's this one. And then some students give the answer 14, unfortunately, yeah, because the frequency is 14 now, but they're asking the modal class, okay? So that is the most popular class, so that would be then between 40 at a speed and 50. That's the modal class, good. In which interval is the upper quartile of the distribution? Now, if you would uh, create a cum uh, community frequency table um, uh, uh, looking at this data, then, uh, and hopefully you've seen those videos of, uh, of me, then um, the median is always the mid value. Yeah, so if you have 50 cars, then the median would be at car 25, yeah, which is half of 50. And then I also explain what lower and upper quartile is, where the lower quartile is at a quarter of the amount of uh, piece of information you have, and the upper quartile at three quarters. So basically, the upper quartile, that's what they're asking, that is, is of three quarters of the amount of data. So that would be, uh, number 37.5, yeah, that is the piece of information 37.5. They're asking me in which interval, yeah, in which class does the upper quartile, um, yeah, where does it exist? So that's at piece 37.5, so 4, 20, uh, not 28, 4, 18, 28, 36, so not 37.5, yeah, so it's going to be in this class, in this class, my piece of information, uh, if I would put it all in a row, 37.5, the 37.5th piece of information will be in this class, okay? So my answer would be in class uh, from 60 to 70, okay? Good, so that's the upper quartile at three quarters of the amount of piece of information. Then we continue with probability. Find the probability that one car selected at random has a speed of less than 20 kilometers per hour. Now again, I've, I have explained probability in many, many videos. So how do you calculate probability? That would be the amount of successes over the amount of combinations. Less than 20 kilometers per hour. So how many cars go less than 20? Well, zero cars, yeah, so you can say zero or perhaps even impossible, but I would always just use numbers, so zero, okay. If we continue, more than 60 kilometers per hour, okay, so how many cars drive more than 60 kilometers per hour or faster than 60 kilometers per hour? Well, that is, or those are these cars, but also these cars, yeah, so how many cars in total? 14, okay. So I accidentally pressed pause. I hope you can uh, still follow me. So we're still doing more than 60 kilometers per hour. So how many cars do I have? 14, 14 cars. Out of how many cars? Well, 50, yeah. So there's a chance of 14 out of 50 that um, you have a car that drives faster than 60 kilometers per hour. You could simplify that. You don't have to eh, with uh, probability, but you could take out the common factor to seven over 25. Very good. But now the last question for two points. There's a speed limit of 60 kilometers per hour on this stretch of road, okay? So basically you could say these cars drive uh, too fast. 
Two cards were selected at random. Yeah, two cards were selected at random. Calculate the probability that one car was breaking the speed limit, yeah, so going faster, and that the other one was not breaking the speed limit. Okay. Now, important about this question is, is that they do not uh, say that the order is important. They don't say the first one has to be breaking the speed limit and the second one cannot. No, they just say one car is breaking the speed limit and the other one isn't. So you have two possible combinations that is uh, breaking the speed limit, let's say B, and not breaking the speed limit, yeah, with an N. But you can also have a car not breaking the speed limit and then it needs to be followed by a car breaking the speed limit. So I'm going to find out the probability of each event and then I will add those probabilities. Yeah, okay. So what is the chance of finding a car that breaks the speed limit? That is 14 out of 50. Yeah, 14 out of 50. Times, what is the chance that that car is followed by a car that is not breaking the speed limit? Well, then I have 18, 28, 36 cars that don't break the speed limit, but that is going to be out of 49. And why is it 49? Because I already took away a car here. Yeah, one car is already um, is already out. Yeah, There's, there is no replacement here, if you like. Okay, so if you want, you can put some brackets around that. And hopefully you realize that for the second event, you have an equal chance. I can also ch multiply this by two. But just to show you, not breaking the speed limit is a chance of 36 out of 50. But then now times, yeah, 14 out of 49. Okay. Now, I don't have a calculator here. Uh, and I need a calculator to calculate this. But, um, well, if you, if you just have a minute, while, while I... Well, I will tell you that you can go to my website, explainingmaps.com, to find all resources uh, you need. Times 36 equals, times 2 equals, explainingmaps.com. This is going to be 1,008, I believe, over um, 15 times 49. Yeah? And like and share this video if it was useful, because then I can help your friends too. Uh, and that would be very kind of you. Yeah. So this is the unsimplified answer. Again, probability, you do not have to simplify that. Um, uh, so that would be a correct final answer. Yeah. So explainingmaps.com. Sorry, I didn't have a calculator there at the end. Explainingmaps.com for all resources you need. Like and share it, like I just said, uh, so I can help your friends. And I wish you a very pleasant day. Okay, bye-bye.